Hello, bamboo lovers. It's Fred Horn today from Bamboo Batu on location in Mozambique. We're at the Silviculture Research Institute outside of Maputo, where they research all manner of forestry. And as far as we know, it's the only research center in the country where they're doing any research on bamboo. And there's not a whole lot of different bamboo in Mozambique, actually. Uh, there are a few native species, and we've come across a few places where they're cultivating bamboo and there are some different species we've come across maybe f five or six different species altogether and the research center turns out they weren't completely sure what species of bamboo they were growing here because it is really difficult to identify and so we've been helping them out with that uh, we have another video about um, bamboo sabalcoa um, and then now we're going to check out this big clumping monster we have once again uh, a resident bamboo batu expert, <laughs> Natalia Ariatagui. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, this is a quite a clumping uh, monster of bamboo. It's got branches going all over the place. From a distance, it looks a lot like the other bambusa species we were looking at. Uh, we've seen a lot of bambusa bambos, the thorny one, and a lot of bambusa balcoa, which are quite similar. And so we started taking a closer look at this. And what were some of the indicators we looked at, Natalia? Yes, um, so the problem with Androcarlamus uh, species, like Androcarlamus genus and Bambusa genus is that uh, genetically they are really, really similar. So if you go and check the, the, the descriptions of the genuses, you would, you would look that it's, they're almost the same. They're not like many differences. Watch out for the ants. Oh. Okay, so, so uh, this one, normally for me, I mean like the, the branching could be uh, an indicator. Normally like the Androcarlamus species have a, a one, one like big uh, branch, you know, and then several smaller ones. Also you could find bambusas having that pattern of, uh, of branching, but uh, here I, found that the Androcarlamus has ma mainly this, no? The, mainly the main one and then some smaller ones. And also here between this one and the other one that we saw, Balcoa, this one has the, just one horizontal node, just without any supranodal reach. It's just one nodal region that, it, that uh, coincides or matches the, the node, no? So yeah, another species we we're looking at, there was a little bump above the node, above mm -hmm. that that line, a uh, second mm, more subtle line that we call mm -hmm. the supernodal ridge. We looked for that over here. We couldn't find it. it looks like just a, mm -hmm. a clean, a clean yeah. line there on the node. That's the uh, the comb sheath scar. We call that comb leaf scar. Yeah, this one is a comb sheath scar. The sheath scar is this one, which uh, go, the which matches the node in this case. No, we call it node, just horizontal mm -hmm. nodal line. Um, in when when there's uh, when there's the, the little supranodal ridge, then we call it the sheath scar. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. So the, also we have this is the the calm leaf. No, As we can see it's different from the other one. This one uh, it's also triangular. It's a little bit it's a little bit dif uh, similar if you can see. Um, also like with a ligule making a small like uh, the arch uh, shape and the uh, uh, blade is also triangular also it's small much smaller than the sheep but so, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're good at this so the one thing i want to say about the uh the comb leaf is uh yeah this is like the best way to uh identify if you know if you know your comb seeds this yeah. this, this feature never changes the, the branching, mm -hmm. sometimes the branching pattern is going to vary a little bit from plant to plant, yeah. even within the species. Exactly. Uh, a lot of other features, can, the, you know, the color can change a little bit, the size can change a little bit, yeah, but the comb exactly. sheath is... Uh, it's always it's always the same. It, you can, like in bamboos, that's why it's so difficult. You can have like uh, two, like uh, bimorphism, which means that, for example, for with the, with the leaves, you can also have like two sizes of leaves. And then you can also have like two sizes of palm leaf. Uh, but normally when you make the, the, the rate or the proportion between blade and sheet, it's always the same. 
no? and also the shape and the, the shape of each one of them, the, uh, all the appendixes that they could have, auricle, fimbria, etc. Always, always, always are the same. But how we, how did we? Yeah, we, we saw uh, without the without that nodal ridge, yeah. we knew we figured it wasn't um, Bendusa balcoa. Yes. And then the branching. No, no, no thorns also. Didn't seem to have any thorns, mm -hmm. which is characteristic of Bambusa oh. bambos. Yeah, and then there's Although, the, the branches also. Yeah, there are. No, there's just. There are some things that look like thorns over here, but if you touch them, they're just like undeveloped branches. Mm -hmm. So they're not they're not sharp, sharp the way a thorn would be, which is thorn. a confusing thing about thorny bamboo yeah. identification. But how did we get into the conclusion? So because we kept we kept looking around. <laughs> And then it's quite a quite a uh, dense thicket of bamboo here. And then we took a look took a look at the uh, these stumps on the ground, and you can see I think we can see they're almost almost solid. Very um, and some of them some of them are totally are solid. solid, like, like over here. One. So no, there's no hole in the middle at all. And there's here, it's but this is solid. super, super small, like this size. Let's see if we can come mm -hmm. around. Like yeah. this size. And you know, it's not very common that you can find like uh, almost solid bamboo, like bamboos, no? So that made us think. That is not that, um, yeah. Uh, you're Dendric gonna, alamus strictus. <laughs> alamus strictus. <laughs> yeah, just, just to notice, there are uh, solid bamboos uh, from the genus Chuskea in in the, and, in the Peruvian Andes, but we are not in the Peruvian Andes, and this is definitely not, not just <laughs> So yeah, for sure, this is, again, Dendrocalamus estrictus. Yeah, yeah, so that's how we figured it out. There's another solid uh, combed species of bamboo that grows around here, that's Oxytenanthera abyssinica, oh, which yeah. is something we love to say. Yeah. Uh, it's also called African yeah, but lowland it, but bamboo. But it has, it has a it very, uh, like, thing. small, also like this one you know you can find a very small hole in the middle yeah and some of them yeah it's true they're solid but it, this doesn't look anything like oxygen and theta obviously. yeah there's no there's no mistake no it. mistake yeah it's uh yeah that's a much much uh smaller one this one is, mm -hmm. is pretty huge if you look up uh, it's pretty tall how tall would you say that is oh, um uh 10 or 15, 15 meters, meters? Yes. yeah Mm -hmm. And this is yeah, ten or fifteen meters tall. Again, I don't think they're putting anything on here. Ah, another thing. Oh the yeah, leaves, well, this yes. is something else we noticed. We're like, oh, what species also. is this? Because it's really cool when you touch the leaves. They're really they're like nice like velvety, velvet, yeah, velvet like. Well, well said. Yes. Yeah, like this. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> to, it's hard to see the texture. <laughs> you can see it by there, the but... that you can see a little bit that it shines. It's just because of the hairs. The cilia. But... The cilia, like, I don't know, like pu pubescence, pubescence. Soft and fuzzy. Soft and fuzzy. It's very nice yeah. to touch. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that definitely aroused our curiosity. And then, like we said, we figured out that it's Dendrocalamus strictus. Everything else, um, everything else seemed to confirm that. Mm -hmm. And so there you have it. There's a big insect on there. Really cool. All right. See you next time, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Click the buttons and share the link. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>